Hello, everyone. Today, I would like to share my reflection in one of the writings of Paul. In the book of Galatians, uh, we find a beautiful description of the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians 5, 22 and uh, 23, it says, but the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, gentleness, and self-control. Now, these qualities are not mere attributes we strive to possess, but rather the outgrowth of a life transformed by the Holy Spirit. Now, let us consider the spirit of prophecy's word. Ellen G. White words reminding us that the purpose of Christian journey is to bear fruit and reproduce Christ's character in ourselves and others. Christ's object lesson, page 67, it says there, the object of Christian life is fruit bearing, the reproduction of Christ's character in the believer that it may be reproduced in others. Now, obviously, Ellen White talks about Galatians 5, 22 and 23 in this passage. But the fruit of the Spirit is, you know, the fruits, love. Love is the first fruit mentioned in Galatians 5. This is not the human love, but it's God's love that reflects the very essence of God himself. It is selfless, sacrificial, and unconditional. As followers of Christ, we are called to love God with all our hearts and to love our neighbors as ourselves. This love should permeate every aspect of our lives, manifesting in our relationships, her actions and attitudes. Joy, it's the second one. True joy is not dependent on circumstances, but spring forth from our relationship with Christ. It is a deep-seated contentment that remains even in the midst of trials and tribulations. The joy of the Lord becomes a strength and testimony, drawing others to experience the source of our joy. Peace is the third one. The peace that surpasses all understanding guards our heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Amen? Yes, it is peace that transcends worldly chaos, allowing us to find calmness and rest in the midst life storms. This peace should mark our interaction with others as we seek to be peacemakers and agents of reconciliation. Yes, patience. Patience is rare virtue. However, through the Holy Spirit's working in us, we can exhibit patience and tolerance towards others. It is a reflection of God's patience, love towards us. Amen? Amen. Kindness. Now, kindness is an expression of love in action. It is the willingness to extend a helping hand, offer encouraging words, and show compassion to those in need. Through acts of kindness, we reveal the character of Christ and open doors for the gospel to be shared. Amen? Amen. Goodness. Now, goodness encompasses moral excellence and integrity. It is living a life that is upright honest, and true. As Christians, we are called to be people of integrity 
in all areas of our lives, reflecting God's goodness and righteousness. And how about faith? Faith is more than mere belief. It is trust and confidence in God's promises. By living a life of faith, we demonstrate our reliance on God's faithfulness and his ability to work in and through us. Our faith should inspire others to trust in God and seek his guidance. Gentleness. Gentleness is often misunderstood as weakness, but it is a strength under control. It is a humble and considerate attitude towards others in challenging circumstances. By exercising gentleness, we create an atmosphere of love and respect, drawing others to the beauty of Christ. Amen? Amen. Self-control. Self-control is the mastery over our desires, emotions, and actions. It empowers us to resist temptation and make choices that honor God. By displaying self-control, we become living testimonies of God's transforming power. Brothers and sisters, as followers of Christ, we are called to bear the fruit of the Spirit. This fruit is evidence of our intimate connection with God and the transformative work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. As we allow the Holy Spirit to cultivate these qualities within us, we become instruments of God's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, gentleness, and self-control. Let us remember that the object of Christian life is fruit-bearing, the reproduction of Christ's character in the believer that it may be reproduced in others. As we allow the Holy Spirit to cultivate these qualities, we become instruments of God's love and transformation. God bless you. Let us pray. Loving Father, I pray that you will possess us with your Holy Spirit, that the fruits of the Holy Spirit will be seen in us. We would like to invite you in our hearts today, Father, to control us as we go out and serve you. May it be that we will become a channels of change that the Holy Spirit can use, that our family, our neighbors, will see Jesus in us. Forgive us from all our sins. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you so much, everyone, and God bless you as you work today. Amen.